Welcome to Beyond the Veil with Daniel Jackson, the podcast where we head down the road of the supernatural and beyond. So sit back and hold on as we take a ride together to what lies in the unknown and beyond the veil. Hello and welcome to Beyond the Veil with Daniel Jackson. Me, Daniel Jackson, your host. We are doing a series of new videos. These The series is explaining things that are true and not true. Pretty simple. Unfortunately, in this, what I hate to call a business, although it is a business, what I do, in this supernatural metaphysical world, there are a lot of falsities going on in this world. There are people who are always trying to get one over on you. There are a lot of other practitioners out there that follow the go along to get along as well. They heard it from someone else. And since they think, well, I'll just go along with that type of attitude. And that's just not the case. It's they just do it because it's easy. It's the it's taking the easy way out. Or because of the other reason is, well, they just don't know the answer. They don't have an answer. And this is the easiest possible answer they can come up with by listening to someone else tell them the answer. Well, if you've listened to my show, if you pay attention to my show, you watch the videos on YouTube, then you know that I don't follow that. I don't prescribe to that. I don't go along to get along. I bring you the information as the as the real information is the truth. So on today's episode, we are going to talk about something that is of importance to everyone. And I, I feel it is an importance for me to explain it to you. This episode's title is called Self-Proclaimed. Because being what I am, who I am, I, I do come across other people within this field and I see their posts on Facebook or as if I'm doing an interview on someone else's show, someone, the host will mention to me, well, did you hear about this person and what they said? Did you hear about that person and what they said? And as I explained to them, well, no, I, I wouldn't because I don't follow other practitioners. I don't want what they do to influence what I do. But if they do tell me of, of a of a situation or something they said, I will look it up. And then from there I go, okay, this person's full of shit. This person's lying. And the unfortunate part is they're spreading these these lies, this this bullshit out into the world. And me being me, knowing where I get my answers from, I just, I can't let that lie. I can't let that sit out there. So I have to come on here and to inform you, to let you know what is real and what is not real. So with today's show being titled Self-Proclaimed, what I mean by that is there are a lot of people, these practitioners per se, self-proclaim themselves to be something of what they want you to think is an importance. I saw a woman, I was doing a show and it was a, there was a couple of guests on there, other, others on this panel. And there was a woman there calling herself a high priestess. And once she said that word, well, my ears perked right up. 
And I asked her a question. Why do you call yourself a high priestess? Her explanation was, well, my grandmother did this, and she called herself a high priestess. So I figured I would also call myself a high priestess. But when I went into asking her more questions about what she did, she had no answers. She couldn't describe exactly what she did. She didn't have answers to questions. If you're going into something, if you're going to proclaim anything, you damn well better have the answers. And she didn't have the answers. So while I'm not shown, I called her out. I don't play around with this. I take what I do very seriously. When people come to me for answers, when I do readings for people, they want an answer right now. They don't want me to say, well, let me check on this, or let me hold on a second. And, uh, you know, they want an answer right now. And I get the answer right now. People don't want to wait around. They want to know. It's been stewing inside of them for quite some time, and they, they truly want the answer for it. As I always say, I don't have to sit here and go, oh, or let me speak to those masters of whoever. Yeah. No. I get the answers. Because that's what they're looking for. That's what they're 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 paying me for. Now, they are not per se paying for the reading. They are actually paying for the time for me to give them the reading. And I do make that very clear when I do readings for people. But when they come to me, they want answers, and they want them right now. They've either heard of me from somewhere, or they just, they come up to the booth, and they read a little bit about me. And then they have a, they have a, a sit down with me, and we have at it. And that's what I do. But when you're on a podcast or some type of show or some type of you're at some type of an event, and there's someone is coming to you for answers, they're not waiting for you to, you know, I hate to use this word, but conjure up an answer for them. They want an answer. They are asking you to get that answer, and they're asking you to get it right then and there. Now, I do, I have a practice of when I get finished a reading, I will tell the person, hey, if there's any questions that you might have missed, you might have had, and you didn't think of them at that time, I will give them my email address and say, just contact me later. And, and at no charge to you, you ask the question, I'll answer it for you. I do make a, a, a practice of doing that for people because I want them to get all the information that they need, the, the information that they're looking for to give them that peace of mind, that clarity, the direction. And I want them to feel confident in asking me the questions as confident as they are of me giving them the answers. So again, these this high priestess, when I when I questioned her on everything that she proclaims, she didn't have the answers. And I asked her, how can you proclaim pro proclaim yourself this, this high priestess of whatever it is you do, and not have the answers for that? And her answer for that was, I don't have an answer. And I told her, well, maybe you should stop proclaiming yourself to be this, and maybe you should stop doing what you're doing until you are confident enough and competent enough to have answers for people. And she just looked at me with this dumbfounded look. 
And the host of the show said, well, okay, let's move on. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> it's, uh, it's almost humorous sometimes. This is why I, I don't do shows with being on a panel anymore. I've been told on one of the, the last shows I was a pan panelist on that I am too challenging for the other panelists because they're not used to someone questioning them in this manner. I'm just questioning their validity. If you're going to proclaim to be something, well, you damn well better be it because everyone else out in the world is expecting you to be that. They're hoping that you're the person that's going to be able to give them the answers. That's why they come to me at the at festivals, or that's why they, they book readings with me, because I say things and I do things that resonate with them, and it gets into their knowing of, hey, this is the guy. This is the guy I need to talk to. This is the guy who's going to get me the answers. I've never had anyone tell me, well, you're not the guy, I guess. Never. So be that person you claim to be. Don't just use some words to have a, a, a label of importance. Don't just, uh, you know, go out there empowering yourself to, to be something without being it at all. It's almost in the same way where I remember back in the day, back in the 80s and 90s, we had all these uh, television evangelists. And they all said, they all claim, oh, I'm talking to God. And I am God's messenger. Because every one of those television evangelists come out later on and said, oh, by the way, I'm having money troubles. I need you to send me money. I need a million dollars. No. No, they're just... They're just trying to get one over on you, as well as these people who are self-proclaiming. I do refer to myself as spirit medium Daniel. I am a medium, but not that I need to, but I do go out there and people get answers from me. I have changed many, many lives with the answers that they are seeking. It is a proven fact that I do what I do. And not that anyone really needs to prove themselves to anyone. And I have something I'm going to read to you for that. But if you're going out there and you are making a living at this, you are charging money for your time. Like I said, you damn well better be doing what you're doing. Because if you're not, it's just hogwash. And you'll know. You'll walk around knowing that you've been hornswoggled by this person. There are many people out there who are doing some things that are, well, Questionable. And there are many others out there who are doing or saying they are something. And they're just not. So as my listeners are out there, if you ever have a question about anyone that you want to listen to or see or maybe go see somewhere because they are having a show somewhere. And if you have any, any 
lot of doubt. Or you just want some validation of what they're doing. Absolutely get a hold of me. And I will tell you if they are actually doing what they're doing. You can send me an email. I, I put my email out, address out there for everyone. It's D is in Daniel, M is in Martin, J is in Jackson, 66 at hotmail.com. You can email me there and, and say, hey, Daniel, I'm looking to go see uh, someone who, who's, who's channeling someone. Should I go there? Is this actually happening? And if it's actually happening, yes, I'll say, yeah. But, you know, take it with a grain of salt. But if it's not happening, I'm going to tell you. But still, no matter what I say, no matter what I tell people, you have to go upon that it resonates with you. You have to feel it inside of you. And know that, okay, this makes sense. What he's saying is making sense. I do encourage people to to seek out other information from other places. I'm not, you know, trying to profess that I am the gospel of everything. I don't always have the questions that I can think of for myself. So if you have some questions, one that I didn't think of, then absolutely get a hold of me and ask me, and I will find out the answer for you. There's always possibilities to learn, even for myself. Like I said, I, will, I think of questions, but I don't always think of all the questions. So if you do have a question in that way, absolutely get a hold of me. So this thing I want to read is something I wrote down the other day in that sense of proving yourself. <clears throat> I did post it on my, on my Spirit Medium Daniel group. And if you are interested, I have a group on Facebook, 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 <laughs> Facebook called Spirit Medium Daniel Group. Anyone can sign up to join. Now, <clears throat> with that group, I will let you know when anyone signs up, I, I moderate that group. I will check to see who is signing up. And then I ask my guides, the archangels, if this person has good intentions. I have had many people try to join the group, and when I ask if they have good intentions and I got to know, well, then I just hit the client. Because I'm not going to have people come in and try to disrupt what's being said in the group. What's being? I don't want you to come in and disrupt everyone because you have an opinion of everyone else uh, that has no validity whatsoever. And you just want to voice your opinion and call everybody else a, a piece of crap for doing anything that they do. I don't allow that. It's about positivity. It's about trying to help each other. It's not about trying to tear each other down. So if you want to join, great. But like everyone knows, you know, I get touched for yes or no answers and they put thought into my mind. And if they tell me that you are trying to come in and be a disruption, well, you'll be declined. It's as simple as that. I don't mess around, people. <clears throat> so, again, I wrote this down, and I want you to, to, if this sits well with you, great. If it doesn't, it's up to you. But I always tell people, look, when someone asks you to prove yourself, you tell them this. 
Neither God nor Jesus feels I need to prove myself to anyone else. Only people think I need to. I know my value. God gave me that value, not you. People adversely challenge my worth, my value in this world. God believes in me, believed in me enough to put me here. Who are you to challenge that? Who are you to challenge God? Be very aware or as much aware as you can to these people who are self-labeling themselves, calling themselves a high priestess, calling themselves a prophet, calling themselves whatever they are calling themselves. Listen to what they have to say. Pay attention to what they have to say. And if it's just not sitting right with you, then move on. Or if you just have some questions about it, like I said, you can get a hold of me. I'll let you know. I'll look the person up and I'll let you know. But again, take it with a grain of salt. Knowing that not everyone out there is absolutely telling the truth. Some people just want to be famous. Some people just want to make money. And then there are some people like myself who just want the truth to be out. The actual truth. Thank you again for being my audience. Thank you for for joining the Spirit Medium Daniel Group. Uh, if you haven't already, you can not only just listen to these shows, but you can also view them on YouTube. You can find that at Beyond the Veil with Daniel Jackson. Subscribe. Go in and click the notification bell to get all the videos when, when they come out, to know when they're coming out. As I tell everyone at the end of my programs, as you all know, because you all remind me of it, be good and don't do any stupid shit. Have a great day, everyone. Goodbye. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Beyond the Veil with Daniel Jackson.